Well, hello. I'm Dr. Merrick, and this is my patient, Alex. Doctor, there's something wrong with my vision. Did you just have a stroke? Yeah, I did. That sounds like a common case of visual neglect. I'm currently working on a device to treat visual neglect. Do you want to be our first subject? Sure. Okay. I'll refer you to our business manager, Aaliyah, who will explain what visual neglect is. All right. Hemispatial neglect is when a recent stroke victim doesn't attend to one side of their body. Usually, hemispatial neglect occurs as a result of damage to the right parietal lobe, leaving the patient's left side neglected. One of the most common manifestations of neglect is in the visual field, and neglect patients can forget to shave one side of their face, eat one half of their pizza, or read one half of the page. Current diagnostics for hemispatial neglect include writing tests and a manual test where medical practitioners hold up fingers in either side of the patient's visual field. However, these tests test only for the presence of neglect rather than the severity of neglect. Our system uses a virtual reality headset coupled with a visual test and EOG sensors to diagnose hemispatial neglect. The video uses emojis as visual cues because they are a consistent size and color and people tend to look at faces. And we use a VR headset to control the environment and the distractions around since distraction can contribute to hemispatial neglect. Hi Alex, it's nice to meet you. My name is Helena and I will be your medical practitioner. Uh, so for today, I will be running your diagnostic test. And to explain it, it will be performed using a Google Cardboard and we will also be putting on four pairs of EOG leads on your face. And so this will be what the EOG lead placement will look like. So there will be one on each, uh, each side of the eye for the left and the right eye. Mm -hmm. The medical practitioner can start running the main VI the moment that she begins the video. This front panel will display data for all four sets of the EOG sensors. This top left chart will show the data for this pair of EOG sensors, this pair of EOG sensors, this pair of EOG sensors, this pair, and now this pair. Ideally, the patient should be looking straight at a fixation point and the results should be relatively flat given a bit of noise. Uh, but when the patient were to look uh, either left, right, up, or down, then it would result in either positive or negative peaks. This is how we can track if the patient cheats in the exam or essentially if they move their eyes from the fixation point. In later data analysis, we would remove the runs where they are cheating. After starting the video, it will first do a calibration test where it will tell the patient to move their eyes left, right, up, and down. The physician can make sure that the EOG leads are placed properly based on these charts. Then the video will cue that the test will begin in 3, three two, 2, 1. At that, the physician selects start on the sub-VI and also type in the patient's name. Based on the image that the patient sees, left, right, or both, the physician can select the correct responses. In case that the patient did not see the image at all due to their hemispatial neglect, the sub-VI will program to, be, to automatically skip to the next run. Then the test commences. It will automatically save the data. A dialog box will notify the medical practitioner the name of the file and the location that it is saved. Then the medical practitioner can stop the main VI. After this, the physician can open the files for later diagnosis, but this would be the end of the test for the patient and the medical practitioner. Okay, let's take a look at Alex's results. So for some of these, he said left, right, or both, which means he saw either an emoji on the left side or an emoji on the right side or emojis on both sides. Some of these say error, which either means that he cheated or that he didn't see anything and it timed out. On this side here, we see the percentages for each location in his visual field. So you can see on the left side over here, there's a lot of zeros. On the right side, he got a lot of hundreds. That indicates that he probably has visual neglect on his left side. 
I'm here today with Team Spectacular, and uh, it's really a privilege to be with you guys, innovators, uh, visions of the, the future. I just want to ask, what are you most proud of when it comes to this device? So I think we're most proud of the widespread application that our device can have. There's so many different visual disorders beyond visual neglect that we didn't even realize we could treat. And now that we've worked on the device and we've built a prototype, we do believe that we can treat a widespread number of visual disorders. Thank you very much and uh, look forward to seeing what you guys accomplish in the future. Okay. We, we are